Hi, welcome. My name is Roman. I'm going to introduce you to our platform, its features, some insights, give you some useful information. Hopefully everybody is staying safe at home. We are living now in one of the craziest times. And uh, on the other hand, it's an excellent opportunity to learn and create something new. And I'm happy to share some insights and drama wisdom and my personal experience. In general, I want to convey to you the understanding that Andromo can provide an excellent opportunity to make money and develop your creative skills, your experience in information technology. So, um, uh, today I will tell you about three main things. First, I will introduce you to Andromo and show you main features of our platform. Then I will show you best performing apps. I can show you good uh, apps made at Andromo in Google Play. We will take a brief look at them directly in the marketplace and we'll see how they look, how many downloads they have and you will be able to make your own research on them later. I will show you how you can do it. Um, you will have an opportunity to see that these apps have a good performing level and it's not hard to make such apps or even better apps or just simply looking at them will inspire you to find your own unique vision of an app you want to create. Then we will speak about monetization. I will explain you how it works, how you can calculate your poten potential earnings from your application ads. Also, we will register in AdMob, the ad network, and uh, we will set our ads in the app we will create. I will show you how to do that, and you will see that it's very simple as well. And then we can create an app and set ads there. So uh, let's start with Andromo Builder. Um, in Andromo you can create different applications and monetize them. This is a very easy tool even, even if it's not obvious from the first look. You will find it very simple and intuitive as soon as you understand the logic of our builder. So basically there are two major kinds of applications, business and the rest. Business apps are for boosting your business, for sales growth and for your business promotion. In most cases, we are talking about the small business apps, which will include information about your company, special PDF documents related to your business, the photo gallery of, gallery of your products, your address. There can also be push notifications for your clients, which can boost your sales. And there is a possibility to schedule a visit to your business unit. So you definitely can create small business apps in, at Andromo, except we are currently focused on Android only. IOS applications will be available for our developers supposedly this summer. And the second part of apps are content apps. They are made to deliver some content to users and engage their attention. With these apps you can earn money by running ads inside them. And Dromo is thrown at audio, video and image applications. They are wallpapers, different photo galleries, ringtones, relaxing sounds, sounds of nature, radio stations, podcasts. Moreover, you can create an app for your community, church, school, sports team, and so on. You can create apps where you can schedule meetings, public announcements, publish announcements, make invitations for events. You can also make a news application or if you are a blogger, you can create a supportive app for your blog, website, or YouTube channel. And Dromo has almost all necessary tools to satisfy all app developers' needs. Also, uh, in order to monetize well without much efforts in promotion, you can create so-called trending apps. Trending apps are basically apps related to some trending events in the society which have a lot of search requests in a certain period of time. So, uh, for example, there is some social event at the local level, at the level of your country or your city, and you can create an application devoted directly to this event. So, for example, uh, about two months ago, uh, there was an event in Malaysia when uh, the government decided to give money to young families in order to encourage them to learn how to make online purchases. So, as you can understand, there were millions of uh, requests in Google on how to receive those money. So, one of our developers has created an app with instructions on how to do that and as a result, he got thousands of downloads in just one month and he earned about $3,000. So this is just for your consideration about app promotion without big budget. So let's now move on and uh, speak about best performing apps in Andromo. First of all, we, are <clears throat> we have to define what are main criteria for best performing apps. 
they must bring value to customer, which means they must have cool and high quality content. They have to engage users so that users are happy with your content. And the users, uh, your apps have to make users come back often. Because if you have an app with 1 million downloads, but nobody opens it often, you have no ad impressions. So in order to make users come back, you have to make regular updates of your content and send users push notifications about updates or other events related to your app. So um, uh, now we can go, uh, we will go to Google Play and the search for some applications built in Dromo. Before that, I, I want to explain you how you can do it by yourself. So basically, all Andromo applications have their own package name, which have a common structure. Uh, most common uh, words are common Dromo dev, net Andromo dev, and com new Andromo dev. So now let's uh, check Google Play. Type com Andromo dev here. And now we can see that there are hundreds of apps and the most of them are built it in Dromo. You can make this search by yourself and uh, find something interesting. Personally, I just, in order to save your time, I have a... Oh, sorry, there is some... I have uh, found some interesting apps and uh, I will show you them. So, for example, uh, Let's start from these quick and easy recipes. So this is a cool app you can see. Bright, nice pictures inside. And uh, if we scroll down, we can see that it has over 1 million installs. Later on I will explain you what does it mean, why installs are so important. We can, we can go further and there, there is, uh, by the way, uh, you can see here in the address so that uh, this app has Andromo package name. So uh, this one is also looks nice. It's called uh, Social Network All-in-One. So it, it's nice. At the same time, this app is pretty simple and it's not hard to make it at Andromo Builder. I will show it to you later. If we scroll down, we can see that this app has half over half a million installs, which uh, makes it also very cool and uh, well-performing app. We can go further and uh, check this developer. You can see that he has hundreds of applications and most of them are connected with some sounds. So first one is Duck Sounds. You see, it looks pretty simple. I can say that uh, there is a audio player activity in it. You can add audio player activity in Andromo and just simply upload MP3 tracks. So it's not hard to create such app. And we can see here that it has over 100,000 installs. Also, we can check, for example, cow sounds. sounds. It has also 100, over 100,000 installs. And if we check this application, we can see that it's pretty much the same with previous one, Dark Sounds. The only difference is uh, in content. So you can just create one typical app and then duplicate it and uh, upload different content here. In the previous version, there were there was uploaded there were uploaded Dark Sounds here, Cow Sounds are uploaded and. Uh, cow background picture. So what I want to say that it's a nice, well-performing app, but it's not hard to, to create it. Uh, there is one more cool app that I liked. It call, it, it's called Make Money, Passive Income and Work From Home Ideas. It also was built in Andromo, as you can see. And uh, this application has over 1 million installs, which is really cool. This is because uh, make money and passive income from home is a very popular request in Google. So millions of people are Googling these uh, keywords and uh, I believe this application uh, appears very often and people download it. And we, if we look inside, we can see that it looks nice. 
It tells us something about how to start a YouTube, YouTube channel, how to start a blog. At the same time, it's pretty simple and uh, you don't need much uh, skills to create the same. And the last one which I found is uh, devoted to pictures. So these are basically wallpapers and you can see that this developer has also about 100 applications. They are really beautiful. It's a big library of apps devoted to different theme wallpapers. They look cool and let's check this one, the first. So uh, it has uh, half a million installs. Uh, <clears throat> if we check here, we can see that it looks cool. At the same time, each of you can find such pictures in the internet and create his own wallpaper wrap. It is also very important that uh, you make an uh, application which is devoted to some specific theme. For example, let's take this city wallpaper app. It has uh, 10,000 installs and it means that uh, people who Google for city wallpapers can find this uh, application in Google very often and uh, download it. So you can see that these, there are many different apps and I show them to you. Uh, I showed you some, just few of them. You can check them by yourself, look at their downloads, their themes and styles and decide what app, what app you would like to make. Or this can simply inspire you to create your own unique and interesting application. So uh, now we can speak about monetization. Mm. So we just saw several cool apps and uh, we saw that they have thousands of downloads and some of them even have millions of downloads. What does it mean and why is it important for us uh, and for developers? This is important because the more downloads your application has, the more ad impressions will be shown to users. And the more ad impressions are shown, the more revenue the developer gets. So basically, there are two basic types of ads in Andromo, banners and interstitial ads. Banners are pretty simple and common ads. You can see them at 99% of website. When you uh, go to a website, you can see an image which is promoting uh, some product and uh, there is a link inside it. So if user uh, presses that banner, he is forwarded directly to the shop or to some landing page. And the uh, banners are pretty simple and uh, they're, not, uh, they're no, not much paid, but uh, they are rather, uh, uh, they, they are rather permanent on a web page, so uh, uh, they bring you a lot of Im impressions. The other type of ad is uh, interstitial ad. Interstitial ad is ad which is shown on a transition between activities. Later on I will explain you what activities are. But uh, basically, um, this is um, the uh, you can call them screens or folders or parts of your application. So, and uh, when user travels between those activities in your app, he will often see interstitial ads. They are usually displayed on the whole screen, and uh, very often there are videos. So these ads are more complicated than banners, and uh, they are also more uh, more paid you get much more revenue from interstitial ads. Um, there is also one important factor which influences your revenue. It's uh, the geography of your app users. Advertisers pay more for users from countries with strong economics and less for users from developing countries. So users from countries and um, these countries uh, are uh, divided by tiers. So if your app is used mostly uh, in uh, countries from tier 1, then you will be paid uh, between 3 and $15 per 1,000 impressions. Uh, we are talking about interstitial ads now. If your app is mostly used in tier 2 countries, then you will get paid between $1 and $3 per 1,000 impressions. Tier 3 countries, between $0.50 cent and $1 per, per 1,000 impressions. 
Also keep in mind that in most cases your app will, will be used uh, in two tiers or in all three at the same time. Uh, so uh, here we can make a simple calculation, uh, calculation for one app. Let's assume that you have an application which has 100,000 downloads or it can have, you can have 10 apps with 10,000 downloads each, which is pretty much the same. And let's imagine that 5,000 people are using it daily, uh, which means 5% uh, of uh, all your downloads. And they see, in average, uh, three interstitial ads. So this means that uh, uh, 15,000 uh, 15, interstitial impressions daily uh, are shown at, uh, uh, at your application. So if uh, your app will be used in tier 1 country, then you will be earning around $75 daily. Tier 2, $30. Tier 3, $15. But as, a, as I have said, in most cases your app will be used in, uh, in all three tiers. So in, so in average you will be receiving about $50 daily, which means uh, $1,500 monthly. So, and this is just from one app. And Dromo Pro users have no limits for uh, number of apps they can create, so you have no limits for, for your revenue. <clears throat> also, uh, when you create an app, you have to understand the geographical targeting. So you, you, have, uh, to, to, you must have the idea on uh, what audience, uh, what audience uh, will, uh, will be consuming, your, will be using your application. So um, now let's uh, go inside Andromo and uh, see how it works. It's open here. So this is our front page. We can start from creating an app for free. Um, and here you can see our easy start. Um, this is a new uh, feature with what, which was released recently and it's very useful to new developers as they have a choice of templates which uh, reflect most common types of application. So user, user can easily grab a template according to his idea of application and start working with it just simply changing content and getting an, an understanding on how Andromo Builder is set. So uh, we have uh, uh, most common templates here blank template if you want to start creating app just from a white page, spiritual template uh, for some spiritual apps uh, where there can be some prayers, spiritual readings, books and uh, files. Wallpapers app, one of the most popular apps at Andromo. Sounds and ringtones, another very popular application in Andromo. Recipes, inspirational application, music, fashion for bloggers, education, news, local business, and the uh, event template. So here to start, first of all let's log in. Okay, I have logged in and I have already I moved to my dashboard, but we want to start from an easy start. So let's choose inspirational application, create some name for it, for example, uh, motivate. And we choose build this app. The building will take just a couple seconds, a few seconds. And uh, now you are in Andromo dashboard. And from the, web, from the very beginning, there is a very useful tool, which is called Wizard. It's an eight steps explainer, which can lead you through our dashboard and explain you all general uh, settings of Andromo. And uh, this can give you a brief idea of how everything works. So you can just click it through, read everything, or you can just skip it and start working. So basically, in order to create a cool app, you will need these two sections activities and themes so activities are uh, the interior of your application basically they are parts which your application consists of so you can uh, 
you can choose any activity you need for, for your application. Here we have uh, already set activities for this template. If you need more, you can scroll down and see that we have uh, categorized all our activities. So we have recommended, most popular, contact, contact, email, map, phone, engagement, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Google Play, sounds, audio player, podcast, shoutcast, radio. So when here, uh, for example, photo gallery, you can just add pictures here and if we dive in, dive in, you can see that there are uh, already uploaded pictures in, inside. Uh, so you can edit them, you can delete them, you can rearrange, rearrange them simply by dragging. You can go to settings, change name for this gallery, quotes for every day. Okay, so audio player is another popular activity. You can upload MP3 tracks here and users can listen to them in their applications or they can even set them as ringtones. There is another very popular activity. Uh, it's called uh, a custom page. It's a very functional activity and uh, you, can, uh, you can insert uh, text, text content here images and uh, you can also insert uh, links into the images you can in, you can create buttons here you can insert uh, links to the buttons and if user presses it he will be directed to other activity because each activity in Andromo has its own link or he can be directed to external websites so also there is a RSS activity, is a type of web feed, web feed that allows users and applications to receive regular updates from a website or blog of their choice. Uh, you can just simply go inside and uh, put a link for your RSS feed. So uh, you can choose, you can also choose um, custom uh, exclusive settings for each separate activity for example if we go inside there is uh, basically all activities are uh, the same have the same structure it has content style images and toolbar settings so you can uh, create um, custom settings for this activity now I'm changing the color and you can see how it's changing on a preview or you can just simply inherit these settings from a uh, theme so after you have set all necessary settings for your activities, you go to theme. This is number two most important uh, part of your uh, building process. So um, by the way, we have very useful tools here. It's called tool tips. You ju just simply press on a button. You are, you need uh, if you don't understand uh, the function of some part of our builder, you just simply press this tooltip and read about it. So theme helps you to customize the way your, your app behaves and looks. We have general settings here, startup mode, which means uh, in this mode, your application will be launching, launching just as you can see in a preview. In some cases, you will need show first activity from start. So it means that if you choose this option, when the application starts, you will see this first activity opened. But in most cases, we need Classic, uh, classic mode, show dashboard. Then we go to navigation. Here you can see uh, we have settings for our navigation drawer. It's over here. So as you can see, we can set a background picture for it. We can type some text here, menu, sub menu. Now we will delete it. Uh, what else? So uh, layout. Layout is one of the most important part of your app creation because it defines uh, the way your application will look on a dashboard. Uh, I mean, your activities, uh, how your activities will look on a on a dashboard. So now we have grid layout. You can change it to card layout and scroll it down to see how it will look like. You can choose list layout with uh, bubbles or images, uh, square image, large square image, or text only. You can choose list with icons. 
and so so on. So let's come back to our grid layout. Don't for, don't forget to put title and also auto color. So it now now it looks uh, it looks great. So uh, style. This is general style for your application. Also, uh, if we change color here, you can see how it's changing on the preview. And uh, if you set uh, red color here, now we go to our activities, you see this will be red also because we are inheriting style from themes here. So this is how it works and it's very convenient. If you don't want to customize each activity separately and uh, you want your application to look consistent, you just go to theme and uh, and you set uh, general style for all your activities. So in the same with images, we have feature image there, here. Let's read displayed above the home screen content. So. Uh, for example, if we choose none, we don't have feature image. If we choose uh, custom, now we have it. So it works the same with activities. For example, uh, fresh quotes, the first activity, images. Feature image, there is no feature image. But if you choose inherit from theme, now we have inherited our feature image from theme. So this is how it works. And also settings for our toolbar. You can create custom settings, for example, for text. You can see I'm changing text color and how you can see how it's changing on a preview. So anyway, we will choose global style. And uh, after, uh, so after you have made settings of activities and theme, we can say that, that your app is 80% ready to be published. The only thing you need after it is settings, which are basic, basic settings of your app. So you can change the name, Inspire, for example, app version 1.0, target market, and uh, also you can change here, you can choose a app icon here, this is how your app will look on a device. So if we save these set uh, changes and go and go here, uh, we see that this is our app Inspire and, and it has this app icon and uh, it will look the same on the device. So uh, you can make these settings pretty quickly and now we go to monetization. Monetization section is uh, very important for the developer because this is about uh, developer's money. So here you are setting your ad networks inside your application. We can we have different networks here, but uh, the most um, the most common and uh, most popular is AdMob. AdMob is provided by Google, and they have uh, the best performance and they have the most high rates on the market. So basically, we recommend you to work with AdMob. As I have said, you. As I have told you before, we have AdMob banners and AdMob interstitial ads. So now we can uh, go to AdMob and uh, take uh, keys for these ads and uh, we can do it very quickly. So here is AdMob. I am already registered here, but uh, it doesn't take long to, to sign up. So uh, you can do it uh, pretty quickly. You go to apps. You create add an app. Have you published your app on Google Play App Store before? No. App name, app name is uh, Inspire. Okay, this is our name. Platform Android, Ad. Okay, so we have added uh, an application to AdMob and now we have to create ad units for, this, uh, for these boxes. So first we will create, as you remember, we, we work with banner and interstitial ads. So first we will create ad unit for banner. We, will, we can give it a name and that, that's a name for your inner statistics. So you can call it as you like. We can call it inspire banner, create ad unit. Now we just take this key and insert it here for ad mob ad unit banner. Done. Now we create another ad unit, this time interstitial select we can call it inter inspire created unit now it's ready so we can copy its key 
and insert here in AdMob Add Unit. Okay, so done. Uh, we have created two add units for our application, and we now we have uh, to add uh, the last thing, add mob add app ID. So we take this particular app, which is called Inspire, we go to its app settings, and here we have app ID, add mob app ID for this application. We just copy it and paste it here. So now we can go build our application. Uh, now we start building and uh, it will take between two and five minutes to build this app and after it's ready you can go to Google Play and uh, upload it there and it will be ready for releasing and pretty soon users can download your application and start using it so um, as you can see, it took us about 10 minutes and we created an app that is ready to be released and with already set, uh, add set settings. Of course, um, uh, they, you will need more time to find some cool content for your app, but uh, it's a pleasant part of work because that will uh, require your crea uh, creative involvement. And uh, Andromo as a tool can help you organize it uh, pretty fast and easy. Just, don't, just remember that you need these two chapters to create an app. After that you go to settings, make general settings crucial for the submission of your app to a marketplace. Monetization settings which you are making, uh, which you know how to make also pretty fast. And then build. After application is built you will see a link here. Uh, with, with which you can download an APK file and after that you upload that APK file to your device and uh, actually you have installed the application to your device. And also there, there also will be one more link sent to an email which is uh, related to your Andromo account and uh, by that link you can also download your application. So uh, to summarize everything, uh, I, all I wanted to tell you, first, Andromo is easy as you could see it and uh, if you still need more explanations on that, we have videos on our YouTube channel and uh, more videos are coming. And uh, Number two, Andromo is a tool and you can use it and achieve your goals, but it, it will require your personal time, your involvement, commitment and strong desire to create something cool and valuable. According to our calculations, one year of devoted hard work can bring you between three and five thousand dollars revenue per month. So you can you can try, uh, and you can grow uh, and transfer transfer your passive income to your main income. But uh, uh, I think that you definitely have an interest uh, as you are our customer, and uh, I encourage you to try. Also, we will be making short one to minute videos explaining how certain activities work, how to set a sub-menu in a custom page, how to register in Google Play. And uh, I hope you had a great experience and uh, it was my pleasure to be here with you. Thank you very much and good luck in your development.